All right, so welcome back. Hopefully all of you guys are having a fabulous day here today. I thought I'd finally talk about this because it seems like, like what is their plan, right? <laughs> if you were to look at it, uh, they did say, and this is like a, a comment that I keep seeing in my, in my comment section uh, specifically, it's being like, you know, the devs did say it's a new beginning and like they were trying to like spam four Koba content and we got like one four Koba update straight after Escanor and then they forgot about it. Like, think about that, dude. We've gone through banner upon banner upon banner upon banner upon banner. <laughs> None of them since Escalor has been four core related. And again, that's, that's uh, since after Escalor, rather, which is, again, Percy's banner. Um, so I don't know what happened. They just, they just like, they, they were, like, hyping it up as if it was the new coming of, uh, of four Koa. And we got one thing, and they just gave up. So I thought I'd talk about this because, again, it looks like the next banner, most likely the festival that's coming soon, is the four Koa update uh, because of some of the stuff they actually hinted to in the dev notes. So I thought I'd talk about that and go through it if you are new to the channel like and subscribe it helps out a ton and let's hop over there real quick so again this was like the entire banner thing we'll go back to this in a second mainly we want to go to the dev notes they released the english dev notes obviously we went through this and they did have some pretty good confirmations that was a little bit different that we didn't get like the good wording for uh basically obviously this was like the simple section of oh hey listen you like collaboration? We brought back collaboration. Easy as that. Uh, over here, there's the, all the updates they planned for the, again, uh, second half of 2024. Basically, they said this year we tried something new. You guys hated it. So we'll try and tackle whatever we can and see what we can fix and what we remove based on your feedback and how we can also remove the fatigue from the game as, again, whatever we added, we've seen that you didn't like it. So, again, we'll add some ways to fix those things. That's basically what they went for. Uh, one of the new things they're implementing, actually, which is really cool, by the way, uh, they are going to be adding a new feature into La uh, labyrinth which we talked about some very cool stuff there uh when does this actually take into effect i don't know for sure all we know is whatever is listed here is happening in the first uh, or sorry in the second half of the year which we are now obviously getting to the end of the year we already are in the second half of the year but um, we do have this over here, which is the new minigame, Percival's Adventure. So, a brand new minigame, again, called Percival's Adventure, obviously four core related. Uh, we'll be adding a new minigame to provide a fresh experience. We are preparing a minigame based on the fam uh, familiar gameplay loop, and you can enjoy a new Four Nights of Apocalypse theme. Of course, as many knights have said, we, are, uh, we were prepared to introduce the hurdle for obtaining rewards without forcing a certain game every day that can be a burden. We hope that the, each minigame will help the knights enjoy the four core apocalypse uh, basically for koa um ip a little bit more basically speaking we're getting a brand new mini game for percival that's there beyond that again reorganization of some of the uh, boss content we got some more coins over here in again the fight uh, festival stuff and they improved the battle menu further to help it look at least cooler or more easier to ma uh, navigate correct basically out of all of this the main thing that we had uh, or takeaway was whenever they do a mini game it's usually themed to the actual event itself most likely they finally plan to do a four koa thing here they also mentioned it earlier in the dev notes like you know this year we were trying to do the four koa brand new start we didn't really get to that um so they're going to keep it up we had a lot of details such as Fort Koa concept lobby, the redesigns of battle menu, and then again, the addition of Adventure Log and Book of Heroes, which all this stuff was for the Percival and again, Fort Koa updates, uh, which never came, but most likely they're finally going to come. Because remember, you have to realize something. Where we're currently at, there's almost a guaranteed chance that there will be no more Ragnarok for the year because they only release one Ragnarok a year. We kind of know this by now. They also most likely won't be releasing, again, in, in this context, I don't think so. They're going to release uh, Catastrophe, Again, like last year, they did do tier. They did do tier, correct? And then they did hell. That's the two spots they ate up there. If you were to look at it again, I could scroll here. Hell was in September, so that was there. And then again, tier was over here in June. So in this case, they just did uh, Thor. Uh, again, in um, was it was it July or June? I have no idea. J July? No. August was uh, collaboration, so it was Thor right before that, so then uh, July. We just had Ragnarok. I don't think we're going into another Ragnarok, so I think that it's finally time for September, maybe four, uh, 40 million download, and we actually run into the finally, again, the uh, the four core update, but guaranteed, uh, unequivocally, unequivocally guaranteed, November and December has to be four core, because that's always, that's what it always is, right? It's whatever Grand Crosses, again, or Seven Deadly Sins story is. You saw it, Ellie into, uh, into Melly. Before that, before Ellie into Melly, obviously, it was um november so it was uh, ultimate escort into meliotis again we don't know if this year we're going to get a meliotis we don't know for that uh, that for sure uh, obviously if they were to do a meliotis we just got like in this case god meliotis whatever uh that means that all that's left really is like king meliotis but w would they release another meli we don't know for sure uh i definitely think that if they were to do something really cool uh, november and december will be a swap between tristan and uh, percival or sorry tristan and lancelot um or again we could get gawan at one point here uh in, in one of those positions maybe like let's 
say September is Tristan, let's say November is Gawan, let's say that December is uh, Lancelot, and they kind of get those characters out there. Um, for the most part, though, we do know that, again, up and coming, we're finally going to see our four core festivals. First off, again, they have to throw that mini game, obviously, during the four core festival. Uh, obviously, again, they're not going to throw it in during a dead week, most likely. Um, up and coming, we expect to see an LR character. That's what it looks like. A, a Again, um, probably 600 banner, standard banner. Um, I think it's just going to be a rerun. Uh, obviously, we got bolder, but the devs have been more, uh, let's say, complacent in the context of releasing new named characters. Uh, they did release bolder and gilded this year. So, again, that's a new beginning. Uh, it's a lot of characters for them uh, when it comes to non-streamed uh, units or, or festival units. But, um, again, as always, the September thing is a festival. It always is, correct? If you were to go back again with this Perg Melly year, you did have it in September, again, being uh, Infinity Mage Merlin. Usually, it was a sin, but that got broken again because Hell released. But in this case, I think it's finally going to go back to a 4 core unit. Uh, and, again, it looks like Ironside is a planned unit at some point, uh, given they put a lot of effort into his animation. So, would you summon for a festival Ironside? Would you summon for festival Tristan? Festival, uh, in this case, again... Uh, what is it? Um, Lancelot. Festival Gawan, maybe. Maybe they go for that. Uh, again, I thought that would be cool to get the whole cast. Donnie, uh, Sin, and all the other characters again. But it looks like they didn't do anything on that context yet. Uh, again, when they said New Beginning, we were expecting, like, is this really the New Beginning? Um, but so far, it's been still OC, 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 OC. So, again, we haven't really seen what that... Uh, that new beginning uh, entails, basically speaking. But we shall see. Again, updates for the entire second half of the year. Uh, we're going to see what the, the plan is beyond that. But uh, they did already say that they're going to be trying to shorten the festival cycle and fix that kind of context of it. Uh, we don't even know. Maybe they actually just get rid of the September festival because they already did too many festivals this year and they just do a standard 600 banner. Like, again, 600 Ironside or something like that. Um, that also is possible, but... Uh, again, what I can guarantee, what I can guarantee in this video, that either the September, November, or December festival, it's going to most likely be two out of the three will be for Koa, or maybe even three out of three will be for Koa. Because, again, November and December festivals are always for Koa, uh, always story-oriented. It's never anything else. It's it, You can go back on precedent upon precedent upon precedent. They have never, again, uh, Trader Melly, and then uh, Harlequin. Again, uh, go back before that, I think they still did it. Was it Amelie? No, no, Amelie is where uh because again assault mode melee and then the one escort right it's been always two core story units though this year most likely again um people were saying like chaos merlin could be could be that this festival here's chaos merlin uh maybe maybe probably not but uh again i would say that it would make a lot of sense if we get tristan uh maybe lancelot ironside does make sense because again they did put effort into his character maybe he's just a 600 throwaway maybe maybe he's the upcoming 600 throwaway right uh because we do have that incoming so uh, as of right now Remember, September is a bit of... We're already a bit into September. Uh, basically, again, to, uh, 12th is the uh, banner announcement. We'll see what that exactly co uh, holds for us. And then the 26th is the festival. So, uh, Fort Core Festival could be coming back. Percival minigame coming out. A bunch of other revamps and such. So, we finally might be getting our, our, our Fort Core Festival we've been waiting for, uh, for so long for, right? But... um. We shall see. Because remember, again, Four Koa was, was Percy. He wasn't the festival, though. So theoretically, we've never had our first Four Koa festival. So let's see. Maybe uh, maybe, maybe it's time. <laughs> maybe it's finally time. With that being said, take care. Have fun. That's what I got for you here today. Just want to talk about it because, again, players are just dying for it. And we still haven't seen it. So <sighs> let's cope. Let's cope.